I'm going to show you how to prime the lashes for lash extensions. So this is one step I never skip, whether it's for a fill or whether it's for a new set, is always priming those lashes. Now, I've heard some people say, oh, are you drying them out too much with the primer and this could cause some issues? Personally, for me, it's increased my retention. It's never given me any issues by using primer on the lashes. It's only done me a benefit by helping those lashes to last longer. Now, it helps to remove any excess oils or dirt that might be on the lashes and area that are left over even after cleansing. The reason I like primer, it's especially important for those oily clients. Even after you've washed their lashes, you can still notice a little bit of oils and the primer will just help to remove those and make it so that the glue is just going to bond really well to the natural lash and it just really really increases retention so this is one step that i never skip and i'm going to grab i have here my s lashes primer one bottle will last you such a long time because you need hardly any primer to get the job done i have two disposable micro swab brushes here as well so what I like to do is just put one small drop on one of my Microsoft brushes because you don't want too much. You don't want this getting in the client's eye. So I'm just going to put one tiny drop onto one of my Microsoft brushes. Now you can see how there's quite a bit of product there and I don't want any of this leaking into the client's eye. So I'm actually just going to grab my other Microsoft brush and just tap them together. And you can see how that product is distributed a little bit more evenly and now we don't have so much product on the micro swab brush now, it is still a little bit too much because you can see how it's kind of pooling on there so in that case if i do get just a little bit too much out of the bottle i can just quickly dab them on a clean paper towel just to remove any of that excess dab them back together again just so i get that perfect amount so you can see there now how it went from looking a bit soaked to just a bit damp so that's the perfect amount that you want to prime your client's lashes just enough so that it's not going to drip into the eye now you're going to want to go in and get in between all the lashes with the primer especially at the base where the bond is going to be now you don't need to really prime the lid or anything like that it's just about priming those bases and anywhere that the glue is going to be sticking to the lash so i go through the lashes and you want to get make sure you're getting in between those lashes as well so I just file through making sure I'm getting in between all the lashes filing through now we actually want to prime on top and underneath so I can use my other primer micro swab brush here and just work that primer through the bottom and the top of the lashes just to remove any of those excess oils and have them perfectly prepped to get the best bond with our lash extensions so I just go through, especially if there's a fill, I wanna make sure I'm getting in between all those extensions, make sure I'm priming really well the inner and outer corners as well, getting underneath and on top, and you're gonna to wanna to do this with both of your eyes. Now, after we're done priming the lashes, we wanna dry them before we apply any lash extensions. So you can use a fan, which is the quickest way to dry them. Um, but I always recommend having one of these handy little air pump blowers in your lash salon just in case your fan dies and then you're waiting for it to charge and you don't have a way to dry the lashes. So just for the purposes of that, I'm going to show just drying them quickly with the air pump blower. It's just a little bit slower, but it's just one of those things that's just really helpful to have as a backup tool. Now, usually while I'm drying them, I'll grab one of my clean mascara wands and just comb through just to make sure we're getting everything dried, just kind of like when you're drying your hair and you're combing it, get everything in place, get everything dried and ready for your lash application. So there you have it. That is us priming for lash extensions.